creek down there. Some water flowing. So we just got out to this canal. We're gonna be hunting for some big bass today. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. We got a little treat for you guys today. I'm actually with Delton. He's right there behind the camera. What up? Oh, what's up? Today, we're gonna be trying to find some big bass. As you guys saw a few episodes ago, we fished some canals and you know we really didn't find super big ones but we noticed that they were in there and now today we're going to be going back we're going to be finding some new canal spots so i'm coming to one place and you guys probably remember it i actually nicknamed it the haunted canal and um, it's because it's a really creepy place you don't have service back here and i came back here by myself a lot over the last couple of years it's a it's a sketchy place it's a little weird um there's a bunch of big gators out here as well and there's a big spillway here at the end of this that we're going to be fishing this morning i'm hoping that we're going to hook into some big fish and they're going to be loaded up there usually on that spillway if you fish some of those current breaks you can catch some really big fish so we're going to go ahead and hop into this one after that we're going to travel down to some other canal spots see if we can catch some big fish bigger fish than we did in the last episode if you guys want to see some more canal videos as well let me know but um we're gonna go ahead and hop into this i'm gonna show you guys what i'm throwing we're gonna go catch a big fish let's get it so i ended up only bringing out one rod today and this is actually a mock two by lose this is the newer um, model by them it's a slick looking rod i really enjoy throwing this one i love it because it matches the brand too I got a little texas rig on just a tiny lead weight right there not pegged um ewg hook i believe this is a three aught and then i just have a little stroker crawl on there for right now it's got a uh, black and blue on one side and then green pumpkin on the other so that's kind of the setup you guys are wondering what fluorocarbon i'm using this is 17 pound fluorocarbon um, i usually don't go below that i end up breaking off a lot if i do um, 17 to 18 to 20 pound is usually what i run especially when flipping into some heavy cover on um, the conditions today is really sunny i think some of those fish under some of those grass patches they're going to get under that you know the other days that we came out it was cloudy fish were roaming a little bit more today i think it's going to be set up pretty good and I think we're gonna get some good bites if you guys have any suggestions when we come back to this canal next time um, leave those down below I really want to hear that and uh, give some video idea suggestions down below I'd love to hear them but let's go ahead and hop into this we're gonna see if we can catch a big fish Delton's gonna be starting off with a frog so I'm excited about that I'm um, hopefully he'll catch just a giant fish let's hop right into it see I never really I've caught a few on this end like when we first found out about this canal we caught some right here and ever since then it's been like down on the other side but like I've, I've seen guys that come out here and fish like they sit right here with a bucket and whatever they catch you know they they fillet and they eat and dude they're showing me pictures of six and seven pounders they've caught out of here i'm gonna throw right there where you kept seeing that dude some fish just came up to that dude, what the hell? you know how there's pumping oh what what oh that's Dude, that ain't a fish. That's that's freaking. <laughs> that's a Loch Ness monster. If that's a fish. That's a whale. <laughs> that's so crazy. I'm about to say that's not a fish. <laughs> as much as I'd hope it would be a fish, but like I said, I've never. <gasps> oh, oh my God, Delton. Dude, you got a freaking big one on a frog. Oh. <gasps> You had a freaking toad on a frog. You made me, you make me wish that I brought my frog rod. Oh my God. That was a four plus pounder, dude, on a freaking frog. What's going on over here? He destroyed that sucker, bro. I, I didn't have my drag set, dude. Look at that. Tell it, not braid. A you're twinkie dude i had four you, oh my gosh everybody say. comment delton's a twinkie down delton's below twinkie. delton's a twinkie delton dude that was a big one dude. dude i can tell you one thing you need to throw that frog over that like foamy stuff i can't believe you got hammered that was a big fish dude. dude the way he ate that i thought he was almost bigger than what he was but watch this i can't believe that man i've never got bit on a frog here Dude, that was that was all up five pounds. <sighs> that sucks, dude. That was actually a really big uh -huh. fish. Yeah, that sucks. I'll say gators hang out in this part. I'm sorry, what? That's where a gator lays. I'm sorry, what? That's where a gator lays. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you see like all the shells and like nasty stuff? There's a like gator spots like right here. I'm sorry, I have to go home. A gator <laughs> a gator lay right there. I'm telling you. If you see like a lot of shells and like nasty stuff like this, we might see one come off the bank. You know, there's like big gators. I've, the biggest one I've seen right here is probably around eight foot. No, 
Yeah, follow me down to the juice, man. I'm gonna take you where the big ones are. Yeah, there's a gator up there, bro. Huh? There's a gator up there. Come here. I, you think I'm lying. You don't see his big ass laying right there. That is a big ass laying on the ground right there. Ain't it? Come on. You're about to find out. We're about to see him go in the water. That's a big gator, boy. I'm telling you, we're about to see this big boy hop in the water. He ain't gonna run at you. Look at him. Yep. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? <laughs> Look, he's gonna come up out there. I told you I was a big gator. You don't know about that, do you? So we're about to go up on the spillway right here. And this is a little hidden spillway. I think we're gonna catch them really good. A, a few things that we're gonna have to note, as you guys can tell, look at all that water pumping out of it. Come on, let's go up a little bit closer. So you can tell where all this water is being pumped out of that pipe right here. A ton of current, I mean, a ton of current. So there's gonna be a few little tactics that we're gonna use to get the bites here. Delton's actually throwing a frog and he's gonna to have to throw that a little out of the way of where the current's not at. Um, but right here with this crawl, a few little things that we're gonna you know, talk about today is gonna to help us catch these fish here. And I think there's gonna be a bunch of big, strong, fat bass loaded up on that spillway. So let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, so what I just talked about, all this water coming out of the spillway, this is very important what we're gonna do here to catch these fish. So the water is pouring directly out of that pipe out here in the middle, you got a ton of current flow. If you look right here on the sides, you got these current breaks. On that side, not as much, but right here, the water's a little calm. So that's gonna be the areas that you're gonna wanna target. So I'm gonna throw right up to the left of that pipe where the water's calm, and there should be a fish sitting right there, yep. Oh, I missed him right away. First flip, dude. Look at that. Destroyed my curl right there in that current break. That's what I'm saying. Right there, you wanna, you wanna get to where that fish isn't having to fight the current the whole time. You wanna go in the spots where the water's a little more calm, and right there, the first flip had one destroy me. So we're gonna put on a new crawl real quick. Just a little Texas rig, really basic. Rig this guy right up, all right. Boom, all right, we're good to go. Pull our pinchers off. Let's throw right back in there. He's right there in that current break. He should bite again, right there. Watch this. Oh yep. Yeah. Yep, what did I say? Boom, right there, right there in the current break. We got us a little fat bass right there fishing a natural little canal, the spillway in it. Not a big fish by any means, but he was right there in that current break. Great example of what I was talking about rolling up on this. This spillway right here is gonna be loaded with bass. Let's get him back in the water. This fish is really cold from all that current. Thank you for biting, buddy. Little fat, chunky guy, little nice river bass. Perfect. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> All right, so we just caught that fish. Let's try to work some of these other parts of the current break right here in this corner. I'll just flip my crawler right up there. There's a little bit of rock that goes off as well. These fish in this current slam this bait. Let's see. See, that's what I'm saying. All, all right here is calm water. There should be more than one fish. I don't believe there's only one. They should be loaded up in this. We're actually going to make the same cast that we did before, right to the left of that pipe. Boom. They're right there on that side. Current's whipping a lot harder. If I get a bite right here, it's going to be the perfect example that we're going to talk about next. I got him, I got him. Boom. Another one about the same size in that same spot, right there in that current break. He actually did not feel like a bass. These fish are so amped up. That's one thing to talk about, you know, in this current is that these fish are so aggressive because they live in this stuff and uh, it makes these fish really strong, makes them fight a lot harder, makes them a little more aggressive. And uh, when you're fishing current like that, you'd be amazed with how strong these bass are compared to anywhere else in rivers, anything with moving water. These fish are just so strong. And that's a beautiful little pounder right there. Little fat belly on them. Um, we're gonna keep fishing. I think there's some bigger ones here. We just gotta keep casting, see if we can make it happen. Toss her right back in. All right, let's get back in there. So we're gonna talk about something right now, guys. Another thing, I was talking about fishing the current breaks. With all this current coming out, to keep it as natural as can be, I don't have this thing pegged. A lot of you guys were talking about that. I don't like to, peg the weight for many of reasons when fishing current. So 
If you're gonna be flipping heavy cover in a lake, a pond, a river, whatever it is, I suggest using a peg. You know, it's gonna peg the bullet, or it's gonna peg the bullet weight to the bait, and it's not gonna have any of that movement. You're not gonna get hung up as much. But let me tell you, when you're fishing moving water, when you're fishing current, you don't wanna have this pegged. It's gonna increase your bite ratio by 10. Uh, we've, we've tested out on the boat m multiple times. You know, I've had some of my friends with me. We'll literally be fishing and I, you know, say my buddy has no peg on his and I have a peg on mine, he'll catch 10 to my one. And the reason behind that is because in current, when the current is moving your bait, it's gonna look a lot more natural if the weight is off the bait and your bait's gonna be able to flow in all different directions. If it's pulled up against that, you're not gonna have as much movement. So with the weight being free like that in current, this bait's gonna have more of that natural movement. That's very important. I'm telling you, take that. If you guys are fishing current, please take that, um, that tip right there and use it. So with that being said, I'm gonna cast right here in the current and I'm gonna actually let the current take my crawl. I'm not gonna really move it much. I'm just gonna let the current drag this crawl and whenever the current stops and I get in that little break in that little eddy hole, that is usually where the fish is going to be sitting. It just makes sense. You know, wherever that current is bringing the bait is where the bass are going to be sitting. So that's one rule in thumb. You can either fish these current breaks or you can throw right there in the heavy current, just like this. All right, boom, we're in the current. My line is going to the right and I'm just letting it take it. See that? It's just, it's just traveling. I'm not doing anything. I'm letting the current work the bait. And right now it's out of the current. It just pushed it off into this little hole. And usually, you'll have a lot of bass sitting there because obviously if a bait fish got trapped, it's gonna do the same motion. It's gonna bring it right to where it brought my bait. And that's a really heavy tip right there when you're fishing current. I, I learned that on the river and it just helped us catch so many more fish is really letting the current take the bait to the right place. There's fish in this stuff. There he is. Oh my God, it's a good bass. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a good one. He's fighting hard too. First fish today, baby. Three yes. number. That's a three pounder all freaking day. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. What do you think, Delton? Three That's pounder? That's a launch. It's a three pounder. That's a three pounder. That can't be a better way to start a day off. I know, dude. For the first fish today to be a solid three pounder, that is a freaking good sign. I'm gonna be honest with you, I never felt them bite. I just noticed my line. I was like stuck on the grass and I was like, you know what? I'm just trying to get off this grass and all of a sudden the grass is moving to the left. I'm like, hold up, that's a fish. That is a beautiful bass. It's got a few pictures of that guy. That's a quality one. For the first fish today, that's exactly what we're looking for. We're gonna find some bigger ones today but um, he was hiding right under that grass that's all along the bank. And what differentiates today from the last time that we were out here is it's super sunny. The last time it was a little cloudy, it was overcast. And um, that, with that sun being out today, you know those fish are gonna push up and all that stuff right there and you know hide out of the sun. That's a good fish right there. I'm gonna get it right back in the water. I'm gonna see if I can get down as close as possible. Well, that's a good fish, I like it. Man, something about these fish that live in this current, they're a whole different animal. They just fight so hard. They, they run off so much faster. They're just so aggressive and they're like jittery. You gotta love that right there. They're in this stuff, man. They're, they're in it today. They weren't in it the other days. Oh, dude, I jacked that fish, bro. 
Oh my god. Did I jack that fish? <laughs> that was a cool catch. That was a really cool catch. <laughs> that was crazy though. Like I pitched right there and my line started taking off to the left and I just freaking jacked him straight out. I thought it was gonna be a big one for a minute there. Man, that was cool. Little guy <laughs> right there in that grass patch. That's what I was saying, like with the sun out today, they're gonna be, you know, all up in that stuff. That was good. We're not getting many bites, but you know, I, I think once we find the hot spot of this canal, I think it can be repetitive. You know, we're gonna find them kind of stacked up. So I was throwing a little worm. We're gonna switch over to a crawl now. And this one is called Nirvana. It's black, it's black and blue and green pumpkin. It's like half and half. I wish it was like solid black and blue, but this is what I have at the moment. Um, I think that's gonna be fine. I guess we'll see if they'll eat a crawl because Delton's gonna throw in that crawl. He's had a few bites, but he hasn't got one yet. Um, I don't know if that worm might have been the key to us getting bites, but I guess we're gonna find out here soon. Or maybe the crawl ends up getting more bites than the worm. I'm gonna do it right now, Delton. I have to. Do you have your cutters? Please say you have your cutters. No. Oh, no. I really need to retie. Ah, uh, I guess I'm not. That's fine. That's cool. Get her. Get her, Bo. Get her, Bo. Get her, Bo. <laughs> Delton, that's not what you're supposed to catch, bro. <laughs> that is not what you're supposed to catch. It's your first fish, though. It's my first fish. It's a monkey off the bat. Yeah. It's a monkey off the bat. It's okay. There's so many fish of like different shapes and sizes in this canal. You know, like when you usually go to some places and you're like, all right, you know, you're either catching a bunch of like two numbers or like a bunch of seven pounder. You know what I mean? Yep. Like here, it's like you catch literally everything. It's like fish can be this big, that big, this small, that small. It's funny. There he is. Hey, that's a good one, Delton. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's actually like a big one. My reel's coming off too, dude. It's really big. Yes. 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 <laughs> that's a four pounder. Oh. oh man. Dude, he was running so good. That's uh, not quite for it. He looked like he was laying down. It's a three number, bro. Gosh, that's so cool. He was running, dude. I threw it out there. I didn't even have to work it. He just had it right away. I was like, all right, there he is jacked him and just started like toting around that's a good fish look how he's barely hooked just came off awesome. all those spots guys right like here. i said i don't know exactly what it is i don't know a lot of you guys left some comments down below on the last one but i don't know i don't know what's the truth on it it's weird that's a solid three pounder though god he has a four pound like frame he just needs to be bigger you know what i mean that's a beautiful fish heck yeah we'll get him back in the water we're finding we're getting bites really slow but two out of four of the fish have been like really good ones so that's very exciting there's a chance that we can just hook into a slaunch second good one today two three pounders that is awesome we're gonna get closer to those four and five and six and hopefully like pb action today i'm super excited about that i'm so glad that we got to come back on this canal and really show you know the fish that are inside of here because last time i caught a bunch of smaller ones caught a huge you know double digit carp and then we caught you know like a four pound bass but beautiful man i'm gonna get her right back in Give her a little toss. Ah, here she goes. Guys, my GoPro died when I was releasing that fish. Delton threw right back in the same spot and the same thing happened. It hit the bottom and then it started running. That is awesome. Oh dude, barely. Was it the same thing that happened to me? Same thing. I threw in there, just started running. Boom. Got those markings uh, <laughs> right there on his gill. It's almost every fish. Almost every fish, but hey, that's my second one today. Noah's got two, I got two. His is much bigger than mine. I'm a terrible fisherman, but hey, <laughs> it's something. Or no, that's five total. Remember I call that small one? I jacked oh, yeah, straight up. Right. That is the small one. It's not so, bad. Yeah, five yeah. total. Five total. So we're starting to find a pattern. It looks like they're pushed up on the other side of the bank. They're hiding underneath that cover, but as soon as you throw in there, they're just hitting it, running off with it. You don't even get a chance to feel them. You just see your line running. But something for me. Hopefully we'll catch something bigger. I'm thinking eight, nine, nine, nine pounds. What are you? Not like 14, 15. Mm -hmm. 17, 18 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get her back in the water. 
Good she, job. Oh, she just went right back under. Well, that was that, two dude. casts in a row. Like yeah. I said, dude, when we find them stacked up, we might have found them. You know, kind of, they were both in the same spot over there. Yeah. We're gonna keep on casting. We found something. Well, guys, that is freaking awesome. Me and Del were just talking about it. We're, I was like, what if the one that I caught was a female, and the one he caught was a male, and they're just on bed right there, which is definitely a possibility. Because we caught them, I'm telling you, in the same exact spot. That was just weird. And they both happened the same way. It was like the bait hit the water. Textbook example of a male and a female bait. <laughs> yeah, there literally was. Um, I don't know. They bit instantly, if that's the case. Usually you have to fool with them. But in this water, look, there's some fry right there. Oh, yeah, that's it. Might be a bass. Chilling. They're so finicky, though. Like, when you roll up on them right here, they'll just take off. Yeah, but the fact that we both threw in there. Oh, oh yes dude we, dude we found the freaking fish bro i watched him roll on that right there just just pitched it in there and he just rolled right out of that stuff like i said sunny day these fish are tucked in under the cover and that's it's just a prime example of that's it definitely the male bass yeah a small one right there pretty guy though but the same thing, just flipped right on the edge of that grass and it was just instant. But we'll get her back in the water. You know how I said last time I was like, my reel's falling off? Yeah. Did you hear me say that? I didn't type my reel down if I fell <laughs> off again. But little guy, we'll get her back in. I think we're finally finding the areas where they're condensed down. Um, I think it's gonna be really good. There's not as much current right here. Where we started, there was a lot of current. I think I was making a big example right here. So we're gonna keep on trying to catch them. Hi, Jimmy. got one yep get her oh my gosh <laughs> that is so cool oh she is tugging dude it's just like a two pounder ain't it yeah <laughs> the, way, the way she was fighting she ain't even two pounds what the heck dude look at her gills oh my god yeah that's so weird man i don't know got a tummy on her tummy Give her a little tummy. Give me your little tummy, uh, bop. Look at it. Boop, bop, bop, bop. See that little, <laughs> just a little bop, bop, bop. <laughs> This the is like four fish right, right here. here. The yeah. other one we just called those two are over here. That one was right there. So I think we might have found something here. I think we found them bedding over here. We're gonna get this one back in the water. We're gonna throw back in there. See if we can catch us to mama. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> So cool, dude. So freaking cool. Oh, that was such a cool catch. It's a fatty, dude. Look at him. I can't believe we found him locked in so good over here. That is like the fattest one I've seen out of here. It's like short and stubby. That's so neat. That was a cool catch. He's right there in that little cubby hole. Right here? All right. Literally right there. Yeah. Really? So they'll transfer fish to the bucket way up the yacht too. Down here? Yeah, I would have thought the opposite. It's, it's really good down here. Oh, yeah. The memorial's one of the best promise centers in the area, period. Oh, I got him. Dude, I pitched in there. God. The camera out. <laughs> Look at that. Got us another one. Not a big one, but that was really, that was probably the coolest catch yet. I pitched up on that bank. And I saw a wake come off the bank. I already knew he had it. He's just going down current with it. Beautiful little fish, fat and chunky. Not the big one that we needed, but still a nice fish. And we're finding them. We're just got to keep moving. That's how you find the big fish. You just got to keep catching them. Weave out some of the small ones. Keep going from there. Still throwing this crawl. They seem to be liking it.